Identifying redox reactions, oxidizing agents, and reducing agents. Determine whether each of the following reactions is an oxidation reduction reaction. If the reaction is an oxidation reduction, identify the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent. A. 2-Mg solid plus O2 gaseous reacts to form 2-MgO solid. B. 2-HBr aqueous plus CaOH2 aqueous reacts to form 2-H2O liquid plus CaBr2 aqueous. C. Zinc solid plus Fe2 plus aqueous reacts to form Zn2 plus aqueous and Fe solid. Reaction A we have two magnesiums and these are solid reacting with gaseous oxygen to produce 2-MgO solid. In order to determine whether this is an oxidation reduction reaction, we need to assign oxidation numbers. Remember for an element that's uncombined, such as magnesium, the oxidation number is zero. The oxygen, again, we have two oxygen atoms bonded together to make the molecule, but there is no other element, so it has an oxidation number of zero. The product is magnesium oxide, and the metal is always written before the nonmetal. Metals tend to lose electrons, nonmetals tend to gain electrons. And oxygen usually has an oxidation state of minus 2. Notice that oxygen is in group 6A. By gaining two electrons, it obtains the neon electron configuration. So we assign the oxygen an oxidation number of minus 2. And the magnesium, therefore, in order to make this a neutral species, must be plus 2. Note that magnesium is in group 2A of the periodic table, and elements in group 2A tend to only form a single ion, which is plus 2. So we see that magnesium is undergoing an increase in oxidation number from 0 to plus 2. Whereas oxygen is undergoing a decrease in oxidation number from 0 to minus 2. So a decrease in oxidation number is a reduction. Therefore, the reaction of oxygen is labeled the reduction part of the reaction. And an increase in oxidation number 0 to plus 2 for magnesium is an oxidation. Now, whatever species undergoes reduction is the oxidizing agent. That makes O2 the oxidizing agent.
and the species undergoing oxidation is the reducing agent. So the reducing agent is magnesium. So reaction A is a redox reaction. Let's look at reaction B. Reaction B, we have two HBr aqueous plus Ca OH two aqueous reacting to form two H two O liquid and CA BR two aqueous. Once again, to determine whether this is an oxidation reduction or redox reaction, we need to assign oxidation numbers to each of the, the atoms. In HBr, we have bromine, which is located in group 7, and hydrogen in group 1. When hydrogen is bonded to a more electronegative element, such as bromine, it has a plus one oxidation number. And bromine has a minus one oxidation number. Calcium hydroxide, it's probably best to remember that hydroxide is a polyatomic ion, OH minus, which is made up of oxygen and hydrogen. And oxygen will have a minus two oxidation number, and hydrogen is plus one. And calcium, being in group 2A of the periodic table, will also be plus two. On the right-hand side of the equation, in water, we have the electronegative oxygen in group six with a minus two oxidation number. And each hydrogen is plus one. And in calcium bromide, we have calcium having a plus two oxidation number and each bromine being minus one. So notice the hydrogen is plus one in both the HBr and the CaOH2. On the right side, it is still plus one as part of the water molecule. Bromine is minus one as HBr and on the right hand side of the equation it is still minus one in the calcium bromide. Calcium is plus two in calcium hydroxide. Calcium is plus two in calcium bromide. There's no change in oxidation number for hydrogen nor bromine, nor calcium, nor oxygen. So this is not a redox reaction. In the final example, we have zinc solid plus Fe 
2 plus aqueous. reacting to form aqueous zinc ion and solid iron. So we see that zinc on the left being an element that's uncombined has an oxidation number of zero. The iron, ion, well, any ion that's monatomic, the oxidation number is the same as its charge, so that's plus two. Same for the zinc ion, so its charge is plus two, so its oxidation number is plus two. And then the iron uncombined on the right hand side has an oxidation number of zero. So the zinc is undergoing an oxidation number change from zero to plus two. The iron is undergoing an oxidation number change from plus two to zero. So the oxidation reaction is zinc going to zinc plus two. And the reduction reaction is Fe2 plus going to Fe. Okay, as above, the species undergoing oxidation is the reducing agent. So the reducing agent is zinc. And the species undergoing reduction is the oxidizing agent. So the oxidizing agent is Fe2+. And this is a redox reaction.